Welcome to the Lake Shasta update for February 2024. The water level at California's largest reservoir is currently 1,030 feet 10 inches. Thanks to the recent series of atmospheric rivers that have drenched Northern California, water levels have risen almost 18 feet so far this year. The current water elevation is 216 feet above minimum power pool and only 36 feet below the full pool elevation. For a channel that focuses on water mismanagement, we usually talk about the lack of water in California's reservoirs. That is not the case today. Hello and welcome to Time Bomb. In this episode, we're going to review Lake Shasta's current water level statistics and see exactly where we stand compared to years past. After that, we'll take a look at Shasta Dam operations for the next few weeks. Has the Bureau of Reclamation, who operates the dam, waited too long to initiate flood control operations? You're about to find out. Hit that like button. This is Time Bomb. Let's get started. The current water level of 1,030 feet is 27 feet above the historical average elevation for this time of year. The highest water level at Lake Shasta was recorded on May 31, 2019, when the reservoir peaked at 1,064 feet. That's just shy of the full pool elevation of 1,067 feet. The record low for the reservoir was set during the drought of 1977, when the water level dropped to 836 feet above mean sea level. When we look at previous year's water level for this same time of year, we see the Lake Shasta Reservoir has increased by 45 feet compared to the same time last year. When compared to 2022, the reservoir is 98 feet higher. Water levels in the reservoir are 3 feet below where they were at this time in 2017. That's the last time Shasta Dam Spillway was open for flood control purposes. The current capacity of the Lake Shasta Reservoir is 3,554,000 acre-feet, which is 78% of full pool capacity. The average capacity for this date is 2,909,000 acre-feet. The record low of 563,000 acre-feet was set in September 1977. Full pool capacity is 4,552,000 acre-feet. At 78% of full pool capacity, it looks like Lake Shasta is in good shape to ride out any drought that may hit California later this summer. The big concern at this point is the rapid rise in water levels. Take a look at this chart of the water level for the 2024 water year that began on October 1st, 2023. From October 1st to mid-December, the water level declined by about 12 feet in elevation. That's a very dry start to the winter season, which is the time of year Northern California experiences the most rain. However, from mid-December to January 18th, the water level increased by 7 feet. That was due to several big rain events called atmospheric rivers. Again, this is not unusual behavior. What is unusual is the enormous water level increases that began on January 19th. Since then, Lake Shasta has gained nearly 15 feet in elevation. That's over 373,000 acre-feet of water in just over a week's time. A rise in water elevation that quick is typically not a concern. That is, unless the water elevation is above the 1,015-foot level. You see, the Bureau of Reclamation initiates flood control protocol when the Shasta Reservoir reaches between 70 and 75 percent of full pool capacity. But it's not just the water level that triggers flood control operations, it's also the rate at which the water enters the reservoir. This is known as inflow. This is a chart of the inflows to Lake Shasta for the 2024 water year. Inflows obviously increase during the winter wet season. It's not unusual to see inflows of 5,000 cubic feet per second for brief periods during larger rain events. The problem we have at the moment is that inflows are above 20,000, even 40,000 cubic feet per second, while the reservoir capacity is above 78%. This should have triggered flood control operations already, but so far, that has not happened. 
When water levels in the Shasta Reservoir rise into the 70 to 75 percent range, the Bureau of Reclamation typically institutes flood operations. Flood operations require dam managers to work hand in hand with the Army Corps of Engineers, which manages flood control for California's dams and rivers. When flood control is initiated, outflows from Shasta are carefully increased. They want to remove water from the reservoir to create room for future inflows, but they do not want to release too much water to cause flooding downstream. It's a fine balance. Just a few weeks ago, there was complaints that too much water was being released from Shasta and not enough water was being stored for the dry months in summer and fall. Today, we are in a completely different situation. If water levels continue to rise at the current rate, it may be too late to initiate flood control and the spillway may have to be used to release water. So let's take a look at the outflows from Shasta Dam. This is a chart of outflows for the 2024 water year. Outflows from October 1st through mid-December remained within that 4,000 to 6,000 cubic foot per second range. Then in mid-December, that rate was slightly reduced, but there were days with higher outflow rates. But since January 18th, outflows have been significantly reduced. This is concerning. If anything, the outflow rates should have remained above 4,000 cubic feet per second, not reduced. On January 24th, when the Shasta Reservoir was already above 75% of capacity, the Bureau of Reclamation Area Manager, Don Bader, gave an interview where he said, We still have room in the reservoir for flood control. We still have another 10 feet of room that we can have more storms come in before we would start flood control operations. Well, if Lake Shasta gained another 10 feet, that would raise the reservoir to over 88% of full pool capacity. Batter continued, Coming into this year, I'm always very conservative with our water, with what I think we're going to get because of so many years of inconsistencies in the winter of not getting enough precipitation. He also stated that he does not believe the spillway at Shasta Dam will be opened at all this year. Now, I have nothing but respect for the Bureau of Reclamation and their staff, but I think they may be being too risky with the current water levels, especially with more atmospheric rivers on the way. Let me give you some perspective. The last time Shasta Dam Spillway was opened was back on February 22nd, 2017. At that time, the water level was at 1,055 feet. That's 92% of full pool capacity. Will Lake Shasta reach that elevation? Well, it's just too early to tell, but there are more storms on the way, so it's critical to monitor the situation. One thing I find interesting is that dam managers have already raised the drum gates on the crest of the dam. The only time these gates are raised is to prevent water from seeping over the top of the dam, potentially causing damage. This is an interesting and potentially dangerous situation that we've not had to deal with in a long time. I'm worried that they haven't initiated flood control protocol. They're leaving too much water in the lake, and this could cause problems in just a few weeks' time. Of course, I will be here monitoring the situation. I want to thank you for watching. I'll be back with another video next week. In the meantime, please consider subscribing. I really appreciate your support.